In this video we're going to be tying a nuclear or nuke egg. First thing we're going to do is just start our thread. I'm using GSP thread here. It's a lot stronger uh, than regular thread. It's a lot easier to use when you're uh, tying eggs because you can really pull down on it hard. It's probably ten times stronger than uh, regular thread. And I'm going to take my uh, thread back to about the 30 or 40 percent uh, portion of the hook shank. Then I'm going to take some McFly foam, and you can use whatever color you want, oranges, pinks, uh, reds, chartreuses, whatever uh, color uh, you are tying. And I'm going to take a, a piece that's uh, larger than the diameter of a pencil, probably uh, about twice as round for a size 14. And I'm just going to lay it around the uh, hook, and I'm going to do two loose wraps of thread. I'm going to pull the yarn so that the thread can sink down into it. And then once I do that, I'm just going to take my thread and I'm really going to bite down into that uh, McFly foam. Then I can kind of pull it up and out of the way. And I'm going to pull tight with my thread and I'm going to jump to just in front of all that egg yarn. I'm going to do several tight wraps to make sure that it is tight and in place. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this McFly foam, I'm going to draw it all up, and I'm going to pull it nice and tight. Now the farther away I cut this McFly foam, the larger the egg is going to be. So uh, you kind of have to do a couple to get a gauge on how big you want your egg to be. I usually cut mine a uh, little less than quarter of an inch away from the shank of the hook. So I'm going to pull this tight. I'm going to just cut straight across. And it should end up with a round egg. And I usually have to give mine a little bit of a trim on the bottom. There's always some fuzzies that kind of don't cooperate, so I just got to give it a little bit of a haircut. And you can kind of just roll the material around the, the shank of the hook. Now the next thing to do is to add the, the veil. And uh, for that you can use a couple different kinds of materials. You can either use just plain egg yarn if you have some white egg yarn laying around or I actually like to use egg veil itself uh, it's a little bit more of a supple material a uh, little bit more translucent and uh, I'm just gonna take a little bit of it you can really overdo it if you're not careful with the egg veil so I'm just gonna take just a few fibers of it here and I'm gonna pull it pull all the long kind of pieces out any of the shorter pieces out so I end up with all the pieces that are about two inches long or so here and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie this in right in the middle portion of the egg veil I'm just gonna kinda roll it around the hook a little bit just to kinda spread it out Do a few turns and then I'm going to pull the other part of the egg veil back. Also kind of spread that around the, the hook as well. Do a few turns right up by the eye. And I can whip finish. Trim out the excess and then I'll just kind of spread this all around. And I'll take my brush and I'll just kind of lightly brush it around the the hook. Now we're going to trim it. I'm just going to pull the egg yarn or the egg veil back. I'm going to trim it just beyond the the back of the shank of the hook. And you have a finished nuclear egg or nuke egg. Once this gets wet, it will look very, very translucent and uh, kind of have a milky look to it. It's a very deadly little egg pattern. I can kind of show you here how it'll turn somewhat translucent just by wetting my fingers. You can see how it turns into that milky kind of look looks like a fertilized egg and you can find all the materials to tie this fly on our website 
in the riffle.com. If you're watching this via YouTube, there is a link in the description just below this video. Uh, you can click that link and you can follow it to our website and there you can find the recipe information as well as the materials to uh, tie the nuke egg. And that is the nuclear egg or also known as the nuke egg.